Hello friends, welcome to Health Vizac, Medical Concepts Simplified. In this video, we will learn about ABG interpretation or ABG analysis. Before starting this topic, let's have a quick look at some of the basic terminologies and values. Normal pH is between 7.35 to 7.45. Normal PaCO2 is between 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. Normal bicarbonate is between 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. Normal PO2 is between 80 to 100 mm of mercury. Normal SO2 or saturation is more than 95% on room air. Normal anion gap is 12 plus or minus 2 milliequivalents per liter. Normal lactic acid level is less than 1 millimole per liter. Normal pH is maintained by lungs, kidneys and buffer system. Acidemia is pH less than 7.35 and alkalemia is pH more than 7.45. For metabolic, check bicarbonate level and for respiratory check PaCO2 level. pH is directly proportional to bicarbonate and inversely proportional to PaCO2 level. Compensation always happens in the same direction that is fall in bicarbonate is compensated by decrease in PaCO2 level whereas rise in bicarbonate is compensated by increase in PaCO2 level and vice versa. Now let's learn the steps in ABG analysis. In order to remember the steps in ABG analysis for long term, I have designed a simple mnemonic called High Ape Man and you can easily remember it by visualizing a monkey or ape man in front of you. In this mnemonic, HI stands for history, A stands for authenticity, P stands for primary change, E stands for expected compensation, M stands for mixed versus simple disorder and AN stands for anion gap. Step 1. History. History gives us insights about the underlying clinical condition and ongoing drugs of the patient which helps in diagnosing the primary cause. Step 2 is to check the authenticity of the sample. Authenticity is checked by equation H plus science is equal to 24 multiplied by PaCO2 divided by bicarbonate. It is done to check the consistency of ABG values and whether ABG is valid or not. If the value of H plus science matches the pH range in the chart then it's labeled as authentic. Step 3 is to identify the primary change. It can be amongst one of the following conditions. First, metabolic acidosis in which pH is less than 7.35 and bicarbonate is less than 22 milli equivalents per liter. Second, metabolic alkalosis in which pH is more than 7.45 and bicarbonate value is more than 26 milli equivalents per liter. Respiratory acidosis in which pH is less than 7.35 and PaCO2 is more than 45 millimeters of mercury or respiratory alkalosis in which pH is more than 7.45 and PaCO2 value is less than 35 mm of mercury. Step 4 is to calculate the expected compensation. Compensation always happens in the same direction that is fall in bicarbonate is compensated by fall in PaCO2 level whereas rise in bicarbonate is compensated by rise in PaCO2 level. Compensation is calculated with the help of following formulas. In case of metabolic acidosis, expected fall in PaCO2 level is calculated by formula 1.5 multiplied by bicarbonate level plus 8. In case of metabolic alkalosis, expected rise in PaCO2 level is calculated by formula 0.75 multiplied by rise in bicarbonate level. In case of respiratory acidosis, acute rise in bicarbonate level is calculated by formula 0.1 multiplied by rise in PaCO2 level whereas chronic rise in bicarbonate level is calculated by formula 0.4 multiplied by rise in PaCO2 level. In case of respiratory alkalosis, acute fall in bicarbonate is calculated by formula 0.2 multiplied by fall in PaCO2 level whereas chronic fall in bicarbonate is calculated by formula 0.4 multiplied by fall in PaCO2 level. Compensation usually happens in three ways. It's either fully compensated or partially compensated or uncompensated. And in order to remember it, I have designed a phrase which goes by cop arrested three prisoners with one undercover agent. An acid base disorder is labeled as fully compensated if the pH is normal and it is indicated with the words C and P in the word cop in the given phrase in which C stands for fully compensation and P stands for pH. In case of partial compensation, all the three parameters that is pH, bicarbonate and PaCO2 remains abnormal and hence it is indicated with the words 3 and P in the given phase that is 3 stands for all the three parameters and P stands for partial compensation. Whereas in case of uncompensated acid-base disorder, one amongst the 
bicarbonate and PaCO2 remains normal and other is abnormal and hence it is indicated by 1 and UN in the given phase. Step 5 is to distinguish between simple and mixed disorder. If the expected change is equal to actual change then the disorder is labeled as simple disorder. For example, for metabolic acidosis with bicarbonate of 8, if the expected fall in PaCO2 level is 21.5 but if the ABG reading is showing 28 then it's labeled as mixed disorder and if its value is 21 or near that then it's labeled as simple disorder. Also if the compensation is following the same direction rule then it's labeled as simple disorder and if not then it's labeled as mixed disorder. Step 6 is to calculate the anion gap. Anion gap is calculated by formula Ag or anion gap is equal to sodium minus sum of chloride plus bicarbonate. Its normal value is 12 plus or minus 2 milliequivalents per liter. It is increased in conditions like lactic acidosis, ketoacidosis and chronic renal failure. So friends, these were the 6 steps in analyzing an ABG sample. Now let's have a look at some of the examples to clarify this concept. Case scenario 1. A 35 male patient with known case of insulin dependent diabetes mellitus presented with complaints of severe breathlessness, sweating, confused state, burning maturation, fever of 101 degree Fahrenheit with tachycardia. RS was clear. He skipped his insulin dose for one day. RBS was 426 mg per dl. Electrolyte and ABG readings were as follows. So if we analyze this ABG sample, step 1, history is suggestive of urosepsis. Step 2, authenticity. Calculated H plus ion value is 74.4 which matches the pH range and hence the sample is authentic. Step 3, primary change. Primary change is acidosis and in this case metabolic acidosis as the pH is less than 7.35. Step 4, expected compensation. In this case, compensation is happening in the same direction and the calculated fall in PaCO2 level is 21.5 which does not matches with the PaCO2 level of the sample. Step 5, type of disorder. In this case, the disorder is simple as the same direction rule is followed that is fall in bicarbonate is compensated by fall in PaCO2 level. Type of compensation, in this case it is partially compensated as all the three parameters that is bicarbonate, PaCO2 and pH are abnormal. Step 6, anion gap. In this case the calculated anion gap is 18 which is high and hence the final diagnosis is high anion gap partially compensated metabolic acidosis. Case scenario 2. A 60 year female patient with known case of COPD with hypertension presented with complaint of drowsiness, fever, earlier head cough with expectoration, breathlessness with RS suggestive of bilateral ronchi with few basal crepitations. GCS was E3, M5, E3 and rest of the parameters are shown as follows. So the ABG analysis of this sample is step 1 history, history suggestive of acute exacerbation of COPD with type 2 respiratory failure, step 2 authenticity. Calculated H plus N value is 54 which matches the pH in the range and hence the sample is authentic. Step 3 primary change. In this case primary change is respiratory acidosis. Step 4 expected compensation. In this case calculated rise in bicarbonate level is 27 but the ABG sample is showing bicarbonate of 31 and hence it's not compensated. Step 5 mixed versus simple disorder. In this case the disorder is simple as the same direction rule is followed and the type of compensation is partially compensated as all the three parameters that is pH, PaCO2 and bicarbonate are abnormal. Step 6 is to calculate anion gap. In this case the calculated anion gap is minus 1 which is low. Hence the final diagnosis is low anion gap partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Case scenario 3. A 28 year unmarried female presented with history of quarrel at home with complaints of breathlessness and carpopedal spasm. Hemodynamic parameters, serum electrolyte and ABG are as follows. So let's analyze this ABG sample. Step 1. History. History is suggestive of hyperventilation due to anxiety also to rule out hypocalcemic titani. Step 2. Authenticity. Calculated H plus N value is 32.4 which matches the pH in the range and hence the sample is authentic. Step 3. Primary change. In this case the primary change is respiratory alkalosis. Step 4 expected compensation. In this case, the calculated fall in bicarbonate is 21.4 which nearly matches the bicarbonate value 
of the given ABG sample. Step 5. Mixed versus simple. In this case, the disorder is simple as the same direction rule is followed and the type of compensation is fully compensated as the pH is in normal range. Step 6. Anion gap. Calculated anion gap value is 10 which is low and hence the final diagnosis is low anion gap fully compensated respiratory alkalosis. Case scenario 4. A 42 year male patient with known case of chronic kidney disease on hemodialysis with hypertension presented with complaints of breathlessness, pedal edema, coughing. He skipped his one routine hemodialysis session. BP was 170 by 100. RS was showing bilateral crepitations and electrolyte and ABG readings were as follows. So let's analyze this ABG sample. In this case, history is suggestive of volume overload versus acute left ventricular failure. Step 2 Authenticity Calculated H plus ion is 74.4 which matches the pH range hence the sample is authentic. Step 3 Primary change In this case primary change is metabolic acidosis. Step 4 Expected compensation In this case calculated fall in PaCO2 value is 26 but the sample is showing PaCO2 of 38 which falls in the normal range of 35 to 45. Step 5 Type of disorder Mixed versus simple In this case the disorder is mixed because the same direction rule is not followed as the fall in bicarbonate should be compensated by fall in PaCO2 level but the ABG sample is showing normal PaCO2 range and hence the disorder is mixed. Type of compensation is uncompensated as the PaCO2 is within the normal range and bicarbonate is abnormal. Anion gap Calculated anion gap value is 19 which is high and hence the final diagnosis is high anion gap uncompensated metabolic acidosis. So friends, these were few examples of acid-based disorders. This brings us to the end of this topic. Hope you find this information valuable and applicable in your clinical practice. Please do like and share this video and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Do follow our Facebook and Instagram handles for more clinical insights. And for more such informational videos on medical topics, please subscribe YouTube channel Health Wizak. Medical Concepts Simplified. Thank you.